If you've done any kind of optimizing, you probably already know all about area portals, but for the ones who don't, area portals can be seen as vistas that you can control. Instead of having an area stop rendering automatically when a player is not there, area portals can be fully controlled through triggers. Here's a quick example I made. When the door closes, everything behind it stops rendering. The way you make this is by selecting the area portal texture and applying it to a brush then making this brush into a funk underscore area portal. For the trigger, don't forget to set a delay for when the area portal closes. This is because the close animation of the door model has to play through completely before what's behind it disappears. Even when open, area portals cut out areas not visible to the player. One important thing to note about area portals is that you can't have them leak. That is, if you're sealing in one area with area portals, you can't have the inside of the area touch the outside, like you can't have holes in it for example. When working with area portals, people often say that you should not use them too much because they cause lag if overused. While this is true, this does not mean that you should not use them much. The Team Fortress 2 maps use area portals just about everywhere. 2 Fort has 30 of them, Badwater has around 50, and Hydro contains as many as 130. The way they can have this many area portals without lagging the game is by using them in combination with Vistlies. At any given time in Team Fortress 2, only 4 to 5 area portals are actually being used and calculated. Here is an in-game example of what I mean. Area portals are only calculated when they are in an active Vistleaf. Therefore, as long as you use the Vistleafs to obscure parts of your map, you can have just about as many area portals as you want. Here are some examples of where Valve placed their area portals. They always place them very strategically to have them hide as much of the map as possible when walking behind objects. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Happy mapping! Also, before I forget, if you're just starting out, then these tutorials are probably not what you're going to be looking for. You should check out Hayagami's tutorials on the very bare basics.